With elections in the United States on the anvil, it's notable how different the country's electoral system is from India's. In India, citizens directly vote for members of parliament and the party with the majority in the Lok Sabha selects the Prime Minister. In the US, the process to choose a president involves the electoral college. American citizens don't vote directly for a president. Instead, they choose electors, representatives who cast the actual vote for the president. There are 538 electors and to win, a candidate needs at least 270 votes from these electors. Well, uh, India and US system are different. In the uh, US has a presidential form uh, of election and the government and uh, yeah, India follows the Westminster model which is the, which is the UK model. Now, in uh, USA, uh, they follow the system of electoral college, um, which distorts the popular vote. Uh, it happened in the uh, in uh, Hillary Clinton's time. She got three million more popular votes, but she got less uh, votes of uh, the electoral college and uh, and some states, particular which are considered the swing state, decide this. In the US, when citizens vote, they are essentially voting for electors pledged to their candidate, not the candidate directly. In most states, the candidate who wins the majority in that state gets all of that state's electoral votes. This means a candidate can win the presidency without winning the national popular vote. Compare this to India's first-past-the-post system, where each constituency elects an MP directly and the party with the majority of MPs takes control of the government. This way, power directly reflects the people's vote in India. So they propose the Electoral College, and that gives every state a number of votes equal to its number of representatives in the House of Representatives, plus two senators, every state gets two senators. So for example, a very small state gets only one representative um, and it gets two senatorial electoral votes. So it gets three votes in all. Uh, the larger state, California, uh, gets uh, 52 representatives, um, plus it's two senators, gives it 54 electoral votes. So it is more or less proportional to the size of a state, uh, how many votes that a state gets. Um, and um, after the popular votes are counted, uh, then one determines uh, who gets a plurality uh, of electoral votes in that state. Plurality meaning who gets the most electoral, most popular votes in a state. And in almost all states, in 48 of the 50 states, uh, all the electoral votes of that state go to the popular vote winner, even if it's not a majority. The final step also differs. After the electors are chosen in the US, they meet 41 days later in December to formally cast the official votes, which the Congress counts in January to declare the next president. In India, however, the Election Commission announces the results right after the count. The president then invites the majority party or coalition leader to become the prime minister. This makes India's transition of power more direct, while the US relies on the electoral college to make the final decision.